Hey y'all, Justin McKay, Catfish. I'm out here on the Tennessee River this morning, getting my first bait there going down. Let me get that scale off. That's a yellow bass. He's in that seven, eight inch range. And I've anchored down here on a main channel ledge, getting kind of an early start this morning. It is a Saturday when I'm filming this. Those of you who watch my channel regularly, you know how bad I hate fishing the weekends in pleasure boat season they will quickly dominate the water early this morning so i'm getting the start out here about 5 a.m i'm probably going to fish till maybe 10 o'clock this morning and then i'm gone they can have it but i'm going to try to get some fish here early while i can and this time of year you got to catch those fish whenever you can whenever you get the opportunity and that's what i'm going to do today so i've anchored down here on this main channel ledge i'm in 48 feet right here and if you watch my channel regularly, you saw this uh, spot here in a recent video, and I caught two monster blues off of here. So I said, you know what? I'm going to come back and hit it again. I know the thing to do on YouTube was just to be constantly moving, but YouTube's just a hobby for me. I am a fisherman first, and if I'm on some fish, I want to just keep wearing them out if they're here. So we're going to see if I can get some more here today. So I've anchored down here on this ledge, right on the edge of it where it starts to come up. And I'm going to just suspend my baits under the kayak. I'll have four rods, all with Carolina rig, all with a 10 knot must have demon circle hook. I've got that live yellow bass that we just put down there on that front rod. The other three here are going to have cut skipjack. I'll have a headpiece on one rod and body sections on the other two. And we'll soak these baits out here today until the pleasure boats run me off. Let's get those other rods baited up. Now let's do it. There's the next bait, skipjack head. One well, of the smaller skipjack I got. It's what I call a three baiter. You're gonna get about three baits out of it. But I need to bait three rods, so that's perfect. Get it down here. I'm gonna raise him up here just so he's sitting two, three foot off the bottom there. We'll put the next one on. There it is, skipjack body section. A last bait going down. Another skipjack body section. We'll get it on there and then we are ready to catch some fish. Let's have our fingers crossed that a big mama comes through here today. Cause that is what I am hoping to get. Oh, here we go, man. Here we go, that rod's in the water. Yeah, man. It's on a skipjack body section. And he took that rod over hard, but I don't think he's gonna end up being very big because I feel him down there just rolling immediately. Y'all, it's almost seven o'clock. I've sat out here with nothing going on. It's just been dead out here. But I'm just keep putting in a time. My bite here lately has been kind of, I guess you'd call it mid morning, nine ish, ten ish, about the time I plan on leaving today. <laughs> That's when I've been getting the fish here lately on my other trips. Yeah, he sure took the rod over hard. But he ain't very big for what he looked like. <laughs> All right, guys, first one of the day. He sure took that rod over hard, but he didn't end up turning out being as big as I thought he might be. We'll put some more baits down there then. See if we can see if we can find his big brother. It's a good start though. Let's see what that bait right there can do for us. Down it goes. Look at this rod right here. This one just went over. Let's pick up on him. He didn't take it over hard. He just felt a little bump. And there went the rod tip. It's encouraging though, that's two fish here, just a few minutes apart. So maybe they're getting active right here at daybreak. Dawn and dusk are always peak times for fish activity, it seems like. Don't work out like that every day. But if I got a choice on what times I can fish on a particular day, it's I typically try to hit one or the other. That's another one there, 
Probably about the same size as the last one. That one ate the skipjack head. Well, that one gave us our head back. That's nice of him. Well, there he is. Another one about the same size as the last one. We'll take him, man. It's action. Oh, slash me right in the face. <laughs> well, early morning wake-up call. Oh, let's see what's going on here. He's got it. Let's pick up on him and reel him in. Yeah, it's been a long while in between fish here, y'all. I got them two pretty close together and thought, okay, here, here we go. The bite's going to pick up. But since then, I've sat here about another hour before this can come along. But he did come along. And he's probably the biggest one of the morning here. And that one too. Let me see if I can pull him around here. I think he'll make a ruckus. He's one of them sun sizers. I'll pull him around here. I mean, his tail's messed up, but you can see the side of him there. He's been burrowed down in that mud. These fish have been inactive. And he has tore his tail up. Probably trying to get in something down there. It's a little early for him to be spawned out, so I don't think it's from that. Yeah, not bad, man. Yeah, buddy. Get that line untangled for him. That ain't a bad fish, man. That is not a bad fish. He ate him a skipjack body section. Oh, let's hold him up here. You can see that mud there on the side of him. He's been down there, kind of burrowed on the bottom, but look at his tail here. I'll never get him turned around here in the light. His tail's all wounded up. He ain't gonna show it. He's probably been down there fanning something out. And these fish, I don't know, they may be working on the beds too, you know. it's We're in the middle of May now. Our water temps are still kind of cool, like 66 degrees. We've had a really cool spring here in East Tennessee. Um, but here, within the next month, these fish are going to start to move on the beds. So. <laughs> I'm happy to get him though. Let's just stick him on the board and get a length. How's that fish will go 37 inches? A little over 37 inches actually. Yeah, you know, I just noticed when I was measuring this fish, he's got some of them old wart looking things all over him too. Now I caught one on the same spot the other day that had just warts. I guess that's what you call them, just bumps all over him. This one don't have as many, but he does have some. Odd, it'd be like that right here on the same spot. This water's nasty, man. It's very contaminated. There's advisories up not to eat anything. I got a jet ski over here coming right inside between me and the bank. Let's let him go. I'm gonna start cussing here in a minute. There he goes. And there he goes. He's gonna wave at me. I don't wave back at him. I'm kind of a jerk about it. I don't like it, people. And I ain't gonna apologize for not liking them. This front rod up here just got a little bump. I think there's a fish on there, folks. That line looks like it's swimming. It's gonna go down here in just a second. Let's just watch that rod go down. Let's just watch him take off with it. He ain't making a hard run, is he? He's just kind of slowly swimming with it. All right, I've messed with him enough here. Let's just get it. Let's just pick up on him. Reel this sucker in. I've waited a long time here for this fish. It's been another... Oh, he's going to pull. It's been another hot minute, y'all. I just... The bite today has just been dead. I got that one good fish, but... It's pretty much been... Get a bite, wait forever, get another bite. I'll have to look at the clock here in a minute. I think it's I think it's around 10 a.m. right now. I'm not gonna stay out here much longer. It's getting hot. And I'm seeing more, more and more pleasure boaters. We're gonna get this one up here at least. Add one more to the total today. 
even though it's been slow, I'd still rather have a day like today than, than the skunk. <laughs> Some fish is better than no fish. Yeah, this is another, uh, I see him down there. He's, well, other than that one good one we got, this is about the same size as those others. He broke the monotony. Gave me a little excitement here. And he's got my other line. <laughs> well, we got us another little dink there. He found him a piece of skipjack he couldn't resist. I'm gonna see what time it is here. It's uh, getting late in the morning now. It's 10.06. So. The pleasure boat traffic, it's picking up. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be uh, at this point. So I may ride it out a little longer and see if some fish get active. You know, here lately it's kind of been 9 to 10 a.m. when I've been getting the, my better fish anyway. So I may give a little bit more time out here, but definitely not gonna stay a whole lot later because once all these people take over the water, I'm out. <laughs> all right, guys, it's about that time. We've reached that point in the morning here. It's about 11 a.m. right now. It's getting too many pleasure boaters out here. By the time the water calms down a little bit, you get back to fishing normal, here comes another one by, I start sloshing you around again. So it's definitely time for me to go and let them have it for the rest of the weekend. And I'll be back out again on a weekday when I can fish in peace. But this morning out here, kind of a slow bite. Uh, my last trip out here, if you watch my channel regularly, I got two monster blue cats off this spot, but just didn't happen for me today. I got that one nice blue cat though, and some more smalls, but uh, the quality this morning just didn't compare to that previous trip. But, that's how it goes and I can't complain overall man I just I love doing this I love getting out here the excitement of seeing these rods go over the anticipation of that next big fish that's coming I just love it man I could do this seven days a week but what I can't do is do it right now this time of day on a weekend and do it in peace anyway uh, these people the pleasure boaters I mean they got every right to be out here just like I do but boy they sure zap the fun out of it so I'm gonna take it to the house I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.